Hi YouTube, Ivan Shaw here. Quick tip, um, recalibrating a needle when you pull it off, um, that runs off ohms. So if you're familiar with fuel gauge, you turn it on, it'll go up to your reading, you shut it off, slowly goes back down. Now it will go down farther, so when you pull off that needle, it'll actually go down a farther and you gotta kinda judge where it's at. Um, is one way, but if you know what your ohm reading is, so like this one is 15 to 160 um, full. So knowing that ohm reading, what I can do is I can get a uh, resistance ohm of say, like right here I have some uh, 10 ohm, well not that one, that's 10, uh, that's the wrong one, but like right there is 100 ohm, and then right there is my 10. So uh, what I can do is I have 160, it would be put me on full, uh, 15 will put me on empty, so when I grab a 10, um, I was shooting for empty, when I grabbed a 80, I was shooting for about half, and when I grabbed a 100, I was shooting for about 5 eighths, and I kind of ran them in between them, uh, the marks. Right now I have a 100 ohm in there, because that's where I kind of stopped at, and as you can see, it puts me just a little bit above half. Now my 100 ohm is actually reading at about 90 ohm on the reader, so it's not quite 5 eighths, which is why it's like that. So, I hope this helps anybody, and how I did this, actually, is I came up underneath here, right here is where my sending unit would plug into, and I just simply, I'll get a little bit closer, I just simply plugged it in, and just crossed crossed over the wires with the ohm resistance and like I said what I can do is I can jump it with the 10 ohm real quick and I will show you what it reads when I put 10 ohm so when I pull this out it's gonna read that there's absolutely no resistance through there or I mean that there's no current which is gonna put a lot of resistance and it's gonna read way more than full and then let's see if I can find my 10 ohm real quick I believe it's this one right here. This might be my 220, but we'll find out real quick. I have a multimeter I can put in there, but climb back up underneath here. Let me get this shot. And what I'm doing is I'm bending this in like this, and I have it bent so when I push this in there, it'll actually hold onto the, it'll kind of wedge out against the unit, so it'll actually hold it in place. There's a little bit of climbing in and out on this one. And as you can see, that's that 10 ohm that I was telling you about, and it's just a hair above that uh, empty. So it's right where I want it, and when I put a, a wire directly with no resistance at all, it'll actually hit that needle. So I got it set up to pretty much exactly where I want it. I hope this helps anybody when they're trying to recalibrate one of the uh, fuel unit after they pull the gauge. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys got any comments, uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and ask me any questions.